Hey everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Brittany. Today is called Morning Routine. So this flow is created to be implemented into any and every day as a part of your morning routine. It shouldn't take too much time. If you know that you are tighter in the back body and in the legs, go ahead and grab two blocks now. If you do not have them, we will make do. Either way, I'll meet you in a seated position on your mat when you're ready. So today we're going to start seated on our heels and if it feels okay for you to have your toes tucked I would like you to manually go ahead and tuck all ten toes the pinky toe likes to kind of hang out on its own there so go ahead and tuck all ten toes for me and then feel a long line of energy down from the crown of your head down to heart the belly the pelvis the feet everything is in one long line Take your hands into your lap and turn them palms face up and close down the eyes. From here, we're just going to take three rounds of breath, breathing in through the nose. Sigh it out. Do that again. Inhale. Let it go. Last one in through the nose and out of the mouth. Good, slowly blink the eyes open and make your way into a tabletop position. As always, we're going to stack our knees and our hips. Go ahead and untuck the toes now if they were tucked and stack your elbows, your wrists, and your shoulders all in one beautiful line. Gripping into the mat even here, we're gonna start out with a cow pose. Breathe in, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the chin. On the exhale, round through the spine, press the mat away, pressing into the shins and the palms. Inhale, cow pose, breathe in. Exhale, cat. One more just like that. Inhale, open up to cow. And exhale, cat. Very good, come to a neutral table. On the next inhale, we're gonna start taking cow like back. As you start sinking your hips to your heels, breathe in, lift the chin. On the exhale, before you come to a child's pose, we're gonna round forward, taking a cat pose, but leaning forward so that the shoulders pass the wrist. Inhale to cow, roll it back. Exhale to cat, wave it forward. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Just gaining some momentum here. One more, breathe in, lift the chin. And exhale, round it forward. Good, come to a neutral tabletop. We're gonna reach your right arm out, thumb towards the ceiling like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Tuck the right toes to help with the balance here and then shoot the left foot behind you. Dial the toes down so that your hip is down rather than open to the left side of the room. Everything is in one long line. On the inhale, lift the thumb and lift the heel as high as you can. So breathe in. On the exhale, tap knee to elbow. Inhale, take it long, take it high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Just think a gentle back bend. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Keep the right toes tucked. Plant the right hand and then start to press into the mat. Three-legged down dog, left leg lifts high. Good, lifting from the inner thigh. Flex or point your left toes, breathe in. Now start to open up that left hip by drawing the left heel as close as you can to the right glute. So think like a magnet, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Look in between the thumbs and then plant the left foot in between the hands. Now this is where you may want to use your blocks to bring the ground a little closer to you or come up onto your finger pads. Go ahead and drop the right knee untuck the toes and we're going to floss in and out of this left hip so on the inhale sweep the arms high drop the hip towards the left heel take your gaze up shoulders down the back breathe in on the exhale take a half split tug the left toes towards the face pull the left hip crease back and then reach your chest forward fold as much as you can and then walk the hands forward low lunge so this is where we implement that floss <laughs> taking it back half split low lunge 
Good, one more to the back. Inhale, half split. Pull the left hip back underneath you. Exhale, low lunge. Good, inhale, both arms high, Anjaneyasana. On the exhale, plant the right hand, left hand stays lifted, and then open the body to the left side of the room. Good, tuck the right toes, pick up the right knee, breathe in. Left hand plants, left foot steps back. Inhale to shift the body forward, option to come to the knees if you would like. Exhale, lower halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana, untuck the toes. Inhale to your upward facing dog if your back is ready for it. If not, a baby cobra will work just fine. Exhale, roll over the knees, over the toes, downward facing dog. Good, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, roll it forward and lower the knees for three, two, one. Good job. Reset your table here, so check in with the alignment, and then we're gonna take the left arm out like you're shaking someone's hand. Left toes will stay tucked. Right foot shoots back behind you, toes dialed down, foot is flexed. Inhale, lift the thumb, lift the heel. Exhale, tap knee to elbow. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale to lift. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good, left hand plants, left toes are tucked. Breathe in. On the exhale, right leg shoots up and back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Flexing or pointing through the right toes. Inhale to lift a little higher. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Good, squeeze the heel towards the glute. Look in between the thumbs, breathe in. On the exhale, plant the right foot in between the hands. Drop the left knee, untuck the toes. Sweep the arms high, Anjaneyasana. Let the shoulders melt down the back. Lift the chin. Take up space. Think back bend here. Breathe in. On the exhale, half split. Tug the right toes towards the face. Bump the heart forward and melt over that right leg. Good work. Walk the hands forward. Low lunge. Breathe in. Exhale, half split. Walk the hands forward, breathe in, lift the chin. Exhale, half split, keep pulling that right hip underneath you rather than to the right. One more time to the front. And exhale, half split. Good work. Walk your hands forward, hug the inner thighs together, grind into the points of contact and then sweep your arms up high, Anjaneyasana, breathe in. Left hand plant, right arm opens towards the ceiling. Tuck the left toes, pick up the left knee. Gentle twist, inhale. Exhale, plant the right hand, step the right foot back. Chaturanga Dandasana, your way, I'm gonna drop to my knees. Inhale, lift, shift the body forward, untuck the toes. Exhale, lower halfway or all the way, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the knees, over the toes. Downward facing dog, good, inhale. Exhale, release some heat. Two more, breathe in. Exhale. One more, inhale. Let it go. Roll it forward and lower the knees. Now this time for five, four, three, two, one. Good job, both knees lower. And then come on to your seat. We are heading into a quick um, camel variation. So I'm going to demo with my blocks um, to start. If you have blocks, go ahead and grab them now. If not, I will show you how to modify with your body or if, if you can do full camel, beautiful. If you have blocks, go ahead and place them on either side of your ankles on the outside. And then we're all gonna come to standing on the knees. Camel pose is a great, any back bend is a great energizer. So it's a great addition to your morning routine. I'm going to keep my toes tucked. And then take your hands to your low back, drawing the elbows together, squeezing to open up the chest. Imagine you're putting your hands into back pockets. From here, we're gonna activate the back line of the body. So squeeze the glutes, gently start pressing the hips forward. And then from here, I'm gonna just take my right hand to my right block, if I can find it, good. From here, I'll take my left hand to my left block. So here we have a modified version of a camel. 
You can drop your gaze back if that feels okay on your neck. If you are ready for more, you are welcome to reach back for the heels. Continuing to press the hips and the glutes forward and lifting the chest upwards, allow the gaze to fall back. Take camel pose to your depth, breathe in. Exhale, and then slowly return your hands to your low back. Keep squeezing the back body to lift the chest. Untuck the toes, bring your hips to your heels, hands in your lap. Amazing job, inhale, exhale. One more breath in, one more breath out. Good job. If you have time to continue on your practice from here, by all means, if this wraps up your morning routine, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Go in peace, love, and light. Namaste.